Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to episode 11 of my series Behind the Raw, where I take you onto Lightroom and I talk you through my thought process, my workflow, and my editing of one image from a recent shoot. And this week, it's the turn of going to a film set on the coast of Dingle. So there's an area there which was being used by the movie Ryan's Daughter, which came out in the 60s or 1970, I think it was, and they built a schoolhouse specifically for the movie. Now, since then, that schoolhouse has been left to the elements, so it has been gradually eroded by the wild Atlantic waves and wind, and obviously the harsh conditions that we have in the winter time here in Ireland. So while I was in Dingham, I met up with two other photographers, a good friend of mine, Yarrow, and also Eddie Ford. And I'd never shot with Eddie before, and it was delighted actually to get out and finally shoot with him. But this location is absolutely incredible. You've got views across all of the islands that lie off the coast, and you've got this old derelict building, which is still full of charm and character. Now, I was going to be there for sunset. And the interesting thing for me was I decided, because I was going to be shooting directly into the sun, that I would bracket my images. But it turns out I didn't even need to do that because the dynamic range that was in my camera was perfectly good enough. So I'm going to jump over onto Lightroom here. I'm going to pick one of the images from the shoot and I'll talk you through my editing process of that image. Let's go. Okay, so here we are over on Lightroom here for the edit of the image from my final shoot in Tingle. And this structure is a structure that was used in the movie Ryan's Daughter, and they built this structure specifically for the movie. It was the schoolhouse. But as I said in the video, because of ownership rights of the land, unfortunately, it's been left to go to ruin. But it's still a nice um, location to photograph. So what I want to do from this is talk you through like I normally do on each of these episodes to make sure that I can show my thought process, my workflow and my editing. And as always, first thing I'll do is go in and check on my horizon. So here I can look and say, okay, it is slightly off, but moreover, probably the reason why as well is because I was shooting quite wide. Now I'm at 35 mil here, which is not the widest that I can get, but I have a slight adjustment I needed to do. So if you keep your eye on this area here, what I'm doing is I'm lining up these lines to make sure that this horizon is following that pattern of these lines as they come across here. So a slight variance here for me to be able to adjust that. Next is, okay, do I want to change my crop? Now, looking at this, normally I would say, okay, I want to have a 16.9. A now for 16.9, if I go in here, I'm now framing the shot. It is a nice image, it is pleasing, but I am losing some of the texture that I would have had in this awesome cloud. And this shot is towards the end of the day, so I wasn't dealing with uh, much of the harshness, but also that cloud had caught lovely color as well. And again, if you hadn't seen that episode, I'll link to it up here. But for now, I'm going to uh, leave this as shot. I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to go for a 16.9. Now, when I look as well of the, uh, the edits that I want to do, what do, what's the main thing I want to achieve? It's not, it, it's not difficult to see what the star of the show is here, but when I was composing the shot, I had to think carefully and very thoughtfully because I moved the camera and the tripod to make sure that I didn't have this just intersecting with the island, which is the Blasket Moor Island, and then also the chimney stack. I wanted that over onto the right-hand side and not intersecting as well with on Blasket Moor. And over here, you also have um, on Turrocht, which is a phenomenally beautiful island, lies off the coast. So from a composition point of view, I really liked uh, what I had done here and I worked for it. What I also liked was down here, you had the old stone walls as well. So it gives a bit of context on that. So from that, from a composition point of view, I was happy with my composition. So the first thing I want to do is say, okay, do I want to make this image anyway brighter? Now it is quite dark and I expose this here at one sixth of a second F11, ISO 100, and like I said, I was at 35 mil. So I'm gonna make it a small little bit brighter, not much, that much I think will do me. And then what I'm going to do is increase my 
um, shadows. Now, actually, when I look here on contrast, I say, okay, if I bring my contrast down, it goes more of a dream like, and I might actually end up going back to that here. But for now, I'm just going to leave the contrast with a slight bit of an increase because I do like the, de the difference here between the brickwork and the water. From the next then is then, okay, highlights. So this was a quite a bright scene, as you can see. And if I look at the histogram here, I am almost over onto the right hand side of mine limits let's just say so i can bring my highlights and if i bring them all the way down what it starts to do if you notice these clouds is it starts to bring in some of the detail here but it also shows you the detail on this above now i don't want to go all the way down so i'm going to bring it down quite considerably actually so we bring it down to let's just say around about maybe 76 uh, on my shadows then i want to increase those and i've got that to be able to play with you can see it's dark if you look on the bottom here at these blue dots that's telling me that that's pure black. So I've got a lot that I can play with on my shadows. So I'm gonna bring the shadows up and I'll probably bring it up actually similar to what I would have done from the highlights, but on the other direction. So we bring it up to 68. I think that'll be fine. Whites now, I want to increase those. I want to bring it up a small bit more. I wanna bring it up to around about plus 14. And then on the blacks, again, I want to bring those slightly back down. Not much, just a small bit back down. And there we have pretty much, you know, an edit image done. However, if you look at this cloud that's here, I want to try and bring up more detail on that. And also I want to bring out the color that was there too. I mean, a raw image is quite flat. So I want to play around with this and I want to say, okay, how am I going to bring out the detail in the clouds? First thing is I can use my dehaze. So I can just add in a small bit of dehaze, not a lot. Maybe I'll go maybe around 15, I'd say. Yeah. And now you see that this texture is coming out here in this cloud and you're seeing all the detail here on these beautiful clouds that were gracing us. The sun was just over to the right hand side as well by the way so I composed this image with that in mind and now when I start looking and saying okay I want to add a bit more color like this color here I am getting reflected light so the sun was behind the cloud but all of this was lighting up and reflecting light coming over here you can kind of see it on the grasses and also if I zoom in to the side of the wall you can see it on the side of the wall as well here so I want to bring up the color that was naturally there so I'm going to bring that up to let's just say 30. We zoom back out again now. You can see it's a far more colorful image. If I look at the before and the after, there's a big difference there already in relation to the image. Now also, I noticed uh, up in the sky up here, I have a bird. So at one sixth of a second, I still had movement on that bird. So that's a very simple, quick fix. Make your brush just the size that you want to cover it. That's going to take another piece and that's that. Done. So now we've removed that that artifact and then the final thing that I want to do is I want to bring out more of the sunset color and for me when I look at this here you know this was a quite bright and orange sky but we're not seeing that in this image so I want to change my temperature then I'm going to bring my temperature quite dramatically over here and if you look at it now what it does is it completely changes the image so I'll probably go actually to around with maybe 9,000 um, yeah, that's close enough, I think. And if I now look at this image overall in its totality, I might say, okay, it's a bit dark, but it's not because I've got the, um, the, the brickwork that's been in shadow, let's just say, which makes natural sense because the light is coming from this direction. So that's going to be dark before me. But overall, you know, from that, I like the overall aspect of the image. I think the clouds are great. I like the color. But now when I start looking here, there's one thing which I actually didn't do when I was doing my images. But now when I look at it, I say, OK, I must get rid of that. And if we look here, danger, keep out. So this is saying stay out, be a mock. So I want to go in here and I just want to get rid of that so if I take this here it should let's see if Lightroom does a good job in it now we just want to make sure we're selecting all of that that should take it from below there it does it brings it up quite simple done no issue and if I take away that you wouldn't even know that there was a sign there in the first place so yeah that's that image here it was a phenomenal end to what was a great day now i would have loved if i got an even bigger burn from that sun but even as it was right now i really like the subtlety of that and if you're ever in the area i would highly recommend that you go take the walk and experience history here from the film set of ryan's daughter which was filmed in the 70s so thank you very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong before.